In this video, I will discuss the 11th dimension in detail. I believe after watching this video, you won't need to watch other videos on the 11th dimension. Friends, we all are familiar with the first three dimensions of space and one extra dimension of time. These dimensions define the space around us and everything we see and experience is contained within these four dimensions. However, there are other dimensions beyond the four dimensions we can observe. Friends, the concept of dimensions has been a topic of interest among physicists and mathematicians for centuries. Among these dimensions, the 11th dimension is one of the most fascinating and mysterious. This dimension is proposed to be a space-time dimension, which means that it is inseparable from time. This means that in the 11th dimension, time and space are no longer separate entities, but are instead unified into a single entity. The idea of extra dimensions is not new to physics. In the early 20th century, the mathematician Theodore Kaluza and physicist Oscar Klein proposed a theory that added a fifth dimension to the four dimensions of space and time. This theory aimed to unify electromagnetism and gravity, but it was not successful in explaining other forces in nature. In the 1970s, a string theory emerged as a possible solution to the problem of unifying the forces of nature. Eleventh dimension is a fundamental component of a string theory. A string theory posits that the universe is composed of tiny one-dimensional strings, which vibrate at different frequencies to produce the different particles and forces that we observe. These strings require extra dimensions to exist and the theory requires the existence of 11 dimensions, 10 of space and 1 of time. A string theory proposes that these additional spatial dimensions are too small for us to observe directly. These dimensions are thought to be curled up or compactified meaning that they are tightly wrapped up in tiny loops or shapes that we cannot see or perceive. In the 1990s, a new theory called M theory emerged, which proposed the existence of the 11th dimension. This theory builds on previous theories such as string theory and supersymmetry and attempts to unify all the fundamental forces of the universe. The 11th dimension is a crucial component of this theory. M theory is an extension of a string theory that proposes that there are multiple universes or brains. Brains is actually an acronym for membranes. Each brain has its own set of dimensions. M theory requires the existence of 11 dimensions in the universe that we can observe but it also proposes the existence of other universes with different number of dimensions. In M theory, a brain is a multi-dimensional object that exists within the universe. Brains can have different dimensions from one-dimensional strings to higher dimensional objects like D brains or M brains. These brains are thought to be the fundamental building blocks of the universe with particles and other forms of matter being composed of these objects. Brains can interact with each other and their interactions are thought to be responsible for the fundamental forces of nature. For example, the electromagnetic force may be caused by the interaction of strings and brains. M theory suggests that our universe may exist on a brain of its own, known as the brain world. This idea is part of the larger concept of the multiverse in which there may be many different universes existing on different brains. The 11th dimension is sometimes referred to as the brain world or the bulk. In this dimension, all possible universes and outcomes exist simultaneously. It is like a massive landscape of all the possible ways the universe could be each one represented by a different brain or membrane within the 11th dimension. So what does this mean for our understanding of the universe? Well, for one thing it suggests that our universe is just one of many possible universes that could exist. 
each of these universes could have different physical laws, different fundamental particles, and even different number of dimensions. In fact, some scientists have speculated that the reason we observe only three special dimensions is because the other dimensions are hidden within the 11th dimension. The existence of the 11th dimension has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. One of the most significant implications is that it provides a possible explanation for why gravity is so weak compared to other fundamental forces such as electromagnetism. In AM theory, gravity is proposed to exist in the 11th dimension and is therefore diluted in our observed universe. This dilution could explain why gravity appears to be weaker than other fundamental forces. Another implication of the 11th dimension is that it may be possible to travel between different brains and therefore between different universes. This is because the different brains within the 11th dimension are separated by tiny gaps or wormholes that could potentially be traversed. At present, there is no direct experimental evidence for the existence of the 11th dimension. However, there are some indirect indications that it might exist. One possible line of evidence comes from the fact that string theory predicts the existence of particles called gravitons, which are hypothesized to mediate the force of gravity. Gravitons would exist in the 11th dimension and their properties could be indirectly measured through experiments that look for the effects of gravitational waves. Despite the theoretical framework of M-theory and proposed existence of the 11th dimension, experimental evidence for this dimension is currently lacking. However, several research avenues are being explored to detect the potential evidence for the 11th dimension. One approach is through the use of particle accelerators, such as the Large Hadron Collider. These experiments aim to detect new particles that could provide evidence for the existence of the 11th dimension. Another approach is through the observation of cosmic microwave background radiation, which is the afterglow of the Big Bang. By studying this radiation, scientists hope to detect subtle variations that could provide evidence for the existence of the 11th dimension. But is there any way to visualize the 11th dimension? Actually, the visualization of the 11th dimension is a highly abstract and theoretical concept and cannot be directly observed or experienced in our physical reality. However, by using analogies, mathematical models, and visual representations, we can gain a deeper understanding of the complex concepts. It is difficult to give a concrete example of what an 11 dimensions might look like since we cannot observe it directly. However, we can imagine a simpler version of the concept by considering a two-dimensional object like a piece of paper. We can move in two directions on the paper, left, right, and up, down. What if we roll the paper up into a tube? We have effectively created a third dimension, the dimension of the tube's circumference. In the same way, the extra dimensions in string theory are thought to be curled up in complex shapes that we cannot see or interact with directly, but that is still have an impact on the behavior of the universe. Another way to approach the visualization of higher dimensions is through mathematical models and visual representations. For example, the calabi yau manifold is a mathematical concept that is often used to visualize the extra dimensions in string theory. This is a complex geometrical structure that has been studied extensively in mathematics and physics and can be visualized through computer-generated graphics and animations. Friends, do you know that the concept of the 11th dimension has important philosophical implications also for our understanding of the nature of reality? One of the most interesting implications is that it suggests that reality is not limited to what we can observe with our senses. The 11th dimension is not directly observable, but its existence is required by theoretical framework that have been developed to explain the behavior of particles 
and forces in the universe. So friends, this was all about the 11th dimension. Hope you found the video informative and interesting. If yes, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.